Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this super easy makeup look. This is my go-to everyday makeup routine. It's honestly really quick and easy but still makes you look very put together um, and this is literally what I do every single day. I am definitely a beauty junkie so I am constantly kind of switching out my products but all of the products that I show in today's video are like genuinely my ride or die products that I have gone through multiples of that I've been using for an extended period of time and that I feel like genuinely passionate about. Like they're my absolute favorite products of all time. So you can trust that these products are tried and true and tested by a girl who has more beauty products than I know what to fucking do with. Now that we are all zoomed in and ready to go, I'm just gonna clip my hair back. I'm gonna try and do it cute because it's on the internet, but like in reality, I would just clip this shit up. Not cute, but whatever. Then the first step that I always, always, always do is sunscreen. Today, I'm gonna be using the Elta MD sunscreen. This is the UV Daily Broad Spectrum SPF 40 moisturizing facial sunscreen. So this is a hybrid formula, which basically means there is zinc oxide in it, which is mineral, and then there is octanoxate, which is chemical. So typically I actually prefer to use a fully mineral sunscreen, um, especially when I'm wearing makeup because, I mean, there's like a whole science to sunscreen that's very complicated. But basically, chemical formulas absorb into your skin and they absorb the UV rays and that is how they protect your skin from the sun. And then mineral formulas sit on top of the skin and literally block the sun um, off of your skin. So it's just different technology. But since mineral formulas sit on top of your skin, I prefer that because in my brain it just adds kind of this layer of protection on top of my skin and helps my makeup from not like going into my pores. You know, I have oily, very acne prone skin. So anything to protect makeup from like going into my pores and clogging up my skin is great. So I personally prefer to use mineral sunscreens on days where I'm wearing makeup, but I'm actually out of like most of my mineral sunscreen so I'm gonna use this today because it's a great formula um, and I honestly switch up my sunscreen all the time that's the one thing in my routine that I switch up constantly um, so I'm just gonna be using this Elta MD one today because it's a great formula so I just apply a generous amount of this all over my skin then I'm gonna go in with my primer. This is Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, which I absolutely love. This is a protective primer that actually basically does what I was just describing, which adds a layer of kind of, it blocks the makeup from going into your skin. So I absolutely love this stuff and it just makes your makeup go on so smoothly. So I take about a pump and a half of that and just apply it right on top of the sunscreen. I just noticed that my nails totally match my shirt. I did my nails last night with like a gel X type kit that I got on Amazon. Um, and it took me fucking forever. Literally four hours was spent on my nails last night. I'm like getting heated just thinking about it. <laughs> Removing gel nail polish is actually my least favorite thing to do and that's why I always go to the salon but your girl is unemployed and I should not be spending money on my nails so I'm trying to do them myself <laughs> not going so hot okay next step is my all-time favorite 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 foundation which is the Dior backstage face and body foundation I literally just ran out of my normal color so this is a brand new one which I'm so excited to use Perfect timing for this video. Um, I literally have this foundation in like five shades because I'm always a different color because of my fake tan that I'm always, like it depends on the day of the week. Like 
on you know a Friday morning when I have fresh spray tan I might be shade 2.5 because I'm super tan that day but by you know Monday after the weekend I'm down to like 1.5 and then by like Wednesday most of my spray tan's gone so your girl's like a shade one or zero potentially because I am pasty so today I it's a Tuesday so I'm still kind of tan um, so I'm gonna use shade 1.5, which is actually my favorite shade. If I could be, if my skin color could be this color, that's what I would choose. I just take the foundation and I just apply it directly to a foundation brush. Apologies that I did not clean my brushes before this video, I'm just realizing. <laughs> Oops. I just take a decent amount and I put it on a foundation brush and then I just apply it directly to my skin. I like um, using a foundation brush first because I feel like it evenly distributes the product onto my face and kind of starts to work it in and then I'll go in with a beauty blender and I feel like then the beauty blender like absorbs less of the product and it, more of the product just ends up more evenly distributed on your face so I always do this and I honestly go in with like a pretty light layer because um, I like my skin to not look too, too cakey. Um, but you know, I use a lot of products. I'm a makeup girl, so what can I say? Um, but this is definitely not full coverage. This is like a light to medium coverage foundation, which I love. I feel like it gives enough coverage where it um, evens out my skin tone and matches my face to my neck, my spray tan neck. And um, I just really like it. It's like a demi matte finish, good for oily skin. It's good for like all skin types, honestly. But yeah, when you use it, don't expect it to be like a full coverage foundation. It's definitely like light to medium. I like it because it still like shows my freckles too. Um, and then I just go in with concealer after. So I feel like it just makes your face, your face as a whole look less cakey because you don't have like a full coverage foundation then concealer then powder on it um so I like it next I go in with the NARS soft matte concealer I have it I also have this in like five shades because I'm always a different color but when I'm a little bit tanner I like to go in with the shade custard and I put that on a concealer brush and I use this to spot conceal any of my pimples. Last week I was on my period and I was traveling and not eating well. Over the weekend I slept in my makeup drunkenly once. So your girl's got a few pimples right now. You know what? But that's life. You can't let it ruin your life. I just blend it in with a beauty blender and when I'm blending I just dab it you don't want to like run your beauty blender back and forth you literally just want to tap right on top of where you put the concealer and that's going to help keep the concealer um what's the word i don't know it's going to help keep the concealer on top of the pimple what's what would the word for that be i know that michaela on TikTok literally made this concealer go completely viral because she would just put the concealer on and then put her foundation over it. I personally like putting it on top of my foundation. I feel like it works better when I do it the other way, the Michaela um, strategy. It doesn't work for me. So if that doesn't work for you, I recommend trying this method, the Kelsey version. I have used this concealer for years consistently I've tried so many other concealers and I hate them all like this concealer makes me hate every single other concealer that exists on the planet and I find that when I have like the light layer of foundation and then I spot conceal my pimples it just helps from keeping my entire face looking cakey like my forehead barely has any foundation on it because I don't really break out on my forehead like you can still see the freckles on my nose um and my cheeks 
other than the spots that are spot concealed look pretty natural still so that's why I like using this method versus using just a full coverage foundation then I'm gonna go in with the shade vanilla and use that to conceal under my eyes and focusing most of it in the inner corner and then I just drag it out taking my beauty blender my dirty ass beauty blender i just blend that out and i have super super veiny eyelids i don't know if you can tell on camera so i just take a tiny bit more of that concealer and i just prime my eyelids and i just carefully blend this out with a beauty blender because i have eyelash extensions so i try not to get any of the concealer into my eyelash extensions I literally keep my head tilted so that my eyelids don't crease and I go in with this Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Matte Setting Powder which I got semi recently like maybe like a month ish ago and I am fucking obsessed. I take a tiny bit of the matte setting powder in the lid and I dip my beauty blender in it and I just set my eyelids before I do anything else so that my eyelids do not crease at all. Then I take even more of this powder. I use a lot of powder. A lot of powder because your girl is oily. I'm oily as fuck. So I love the little puff that it comes with also. It's like the perfect shape. It's it's like pointed. I take the sponge and I kind of shape it like this. And I take the tip of it and dip some powder on there. And then I go in and just start pressing this into my under eyes. Then I just continue taking that powder on the little puff. And I start really packing it onto my T-zone. Because like I said, your girl gets oily. Really oily. Okay, now that my T-zone is set, I just take a tiny bit of whatever's left in the lid and I just start lightly setting the rest of my face. I don't really understand how people go in with like powdered bronzers and blush and stuff on top of liquid foundation. Like I just don't feel like my foundation is dry enough if I don't apply a like translucent powder first probably just like a weird mental block that I have but I have to set my whole face with powder next is the bronzer so I absolutely love this NARS matte bronzer this is in the shade Vallarta which is the lighter shade than Laguna because your girl is a little pale so I just take this on an angled brush like this I just tap on my face because I feel like it keeps your face makeup underneath it more intact. And especially if you're someone who has breakouts, this method of tapping the bronzer in versus... What would this motion be? God, why can't I talk today? Versus like sweeping the bronzer on helps keep the concealer and foundation and powder that you have on top of the pimple in place. So I just apply that to my cheeks, to my forehead, a tiny bit right here, but I try to keep this more highlighted. Um, so I mostly just run it into more of my like hairline to connect the two. And then I honestly put a lot on my forehead because my forehead's pretty big. <laughs> I use the very tip of this brush and just run it in the bronzer and tap off the excess and then I just run it onto my nose on the weekends when I'm going out and stuff I'll spend more time contouring my nose but during the week that's just like a hassle so like it's not necessary like I do not need a contoured ass nose during the week <laughs> the only like eyeshadow I really use during the week is actually just my bronzer because I am a person who just likes, 
I'm not a big like shimmery eyeshadow person, especially during the week. I'll wear shimmer eyeshadow if it's like an event, like a concert or like a big night out, like going to the club or something. <laughs> I, I like never go to the club, so I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> if I was gonna go to a club, I would wear a sparkly eyeshadow, but majority of days I just like plain brown matte eyeshadow and that's basically what a bronzer is. I just go in with like a big fluffy brush like this and just dip it in my bronzer and then I just apply it starting in the crease but then I really just work it all over my lid like very messily there's no strategy here i literally just apply this shit all over my lid and i feel like this is a really good trick for beginners because if you're not good at eyeshadow this will make you look like you know what you're doing even though you're literally all you need is one eyeshadow brush and just run it all over the place and just blend, blend, blend. Then I really like the look of eyeshadow under the eye. I feel like it pulls the whole look together and makes it look like you put in more effort even though you really didn't. So I'm just gonna take the bronzer again on a little pencil brush like this and just drag that under my eyes. Then I go in with blush. So my I, I love blush. I genuinely love, love, love blush, especially recently. Um, and my favorite blush that I keep going back to is this Jouer Adore Blush Duo, and it has two shades in it. So it has these two shades. They're really pretty. Okay, so I just take the mix of those two colors on a duo fiber brush like this. And I just mix them together and then I do a little smile. I know there's like a grand debate going on right now about whether you should apply blush like up here where your highlight would typically go or like more on the apples of your cheek. And my answer to that is I do both because I have chubby cheeks and I honestly love them. They run in my family. I think they're cute as fuck. <laughs> I start on the apple of my cheek and then I just literally kind of work it in a C shape. I think that this, um, a duo fiber brush is actually like the best type of brush to apply blush with because it, it blends it nicely and it kind of keeps you from applying too much product. I love the way blush looks on your nose. So cute, like a little sunburn, even though you should not be getting sunburned because we have sunscreen on. And then I also run what whatever products left on my eyelids. I saw that, I think it's Patrick Ta. I saw him do this to some, like in some YouTube video like years ago. And I've done it ever since. Like he applies blush into the lid to tie the whole look together. And it, it completely works. Like it really does, it's so subtle but it really like meshes your, all the colors on your face together well when you mix your blush in with your eyeshadow. And you can do it with any eyeshadow look that you have. It just, it's a good trick. Kudos to you, Patrick. So most of the time I will just use my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Um, this is a tinted brow gel that I'm absolutely obsessed with and I put on so many people to this product like it's life-changing because it's so easy but sometimes I will go in with a brow pencil and my new favorite one is from Kosas I just love Kosas in general like the brand is so cool so I'll go I'm gonna go in with the brow pencil today just to show you my like more sophisticated eyebrow look that I do like I would say like maybe like 40% of the time so I just take the little spoolie and brush through my eyebrows to get any of the product out. I genuinely don't understand how people do their eyebrows first when they're doing their makeup. It, it doesn't work for me. I just take the eyebrow pencil and I literally just draw a line underneath my brows because I have like a few sparse areas like on my eyebrow line. So I just draw a straight line. And then when I get towards the front, 
I kind of just like feather it in and then I'll take the spoolie and brush through only the front part of my brow to kind of just blend it in a little bit. Then I will go in with my Milk Kush Brow and just apply this. I kind of start at the middle of my brows and apply the most product there. And then I'll take the tip of the spoolie and apply the little, there's always like a little clump of product at the end of the spoolie, you know, like with brow gels and mascaras. So I take the little clump and the tip of the spoolie and use that to kind of fill in the tail end of my brows just so I have a little bit more control of that area. And then at this point, most of the product is off of the spoolie. So then I just take whatever's left and work it through the front of my brow. I use a little spoolie and I brush through my eyelashes and then I will go in with bottom mascara. I, this may be a loaded opinion, but I cannot stand when girls with eyelash extensions don't wear bottom mascara. Like, it's fine if you don't wear bottom mascara when you, like, you're like not wearing makeup, but like if you're wearing makeup and you have these crazy ass eyelashes on top, like you need to wear bottom mascara, okay? This is me telling you, you need to wear bottom mascara, people. Sorry to be so aggressive. My go-to lip combo currently is Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Iconic Nude Lip Liner. As you can see, I genuinely love this stuff. I've gone through like, I think this is my third one. I clearly need to order a new one because I cannot live without this. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. Then I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury Yes Honey. Um, and I just dab this on. Then I, this has gotta be one of my like favorite products ever. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil. Look, I'm almost out of it. And this is in just the shade Jellyfish, which is just like their clear-ish kind of version. It's not exactly clear, but it's a little clear. And I just put some of this on top. And this stuff helps keep my lips hydrated. And it makes your lips look like slightly glossy, but it's not sticky at all. Like it's the best feeling lip product ever. Just like glides on your lips, makes them feel like very moisturized, and it gives like a plumping effect, also. All good things. I love this. It's like honestly so quick and easy. Like, this video might be a little long just because I'm explaining and being ridiculous, but if this honestly, like on a normal day, takes me 10, 12 minutes maybe. Like, it's very, very quick and easy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, learning how I do my everyday makeup. I get a ton of requests for this on TikTok, so I'm happy that I'm able to do a super in-depth version of this on YouTube. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I think I'm going to try to post one beauty video per week. I'm thinking I'll do a beauty video and then a vlog each week. So let me know what beauty type videos you guys want to see. I'm, I honestly love making these, so I'm really excited to get more of these up on my channel. All the products I used in the video today will be linked in the description box below. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. my hair back. Of course my brother is calling me. Oh, I'm losing an eyelash. Oh, let me know. Girl gets chapped ass lips. I don't know why. Because I drink more than a gallon of water a day, so it doesn't make any fucking sense to me, but you know what? We can't be completely perfect. Cute. No big deal. No need to get upset, people. I think they're called the kissing lipsticks. <laughs> it makes people want to kiss you. Okay.